Talk to us about some of these launches, some of them incredibly highly anticipated and raising you know, big dollar amounts. Yes, so we're seeing a number of multi-strategy fund launches this year. Um, two of them run by ex-Citadel executives. Um, one of them expected to launch with about $2 billion later this year, another one with about 1.7. So these are pretty sizable launches in this environment, both of those multi-strategy, multi-manager funds. Um, and then there's uh, Bobby Jane over at Millennium, who's considering launching a hedge fund next year. And we hear that if he does go ahead with those plans, he could be one of the biggest launches that we've seen in years. Mm. Hemel, uh, good morning. What does this tell us then that these funds are able to launch in such a sizable way? Yes, yeah, so yeah, a number of the, the sizable launches that we're expecting this year are people who are coming from very notable shops, who've had tenure and spent many years there. You know, if you look at Malaga Runker over at Lone Pine, who's launching her fund, she was there for 23 years. So that goes a really long way in building the, um, the trust and the confidence of allocators that they can continue the track record that they bring from their old shops. And I think also, you know, you're seeing potentially some interest in putting money to work to capture the volatility that we're seeing in the market these days. Mm, we certainly talked to a number of investors who might be worried about higher interest rates or recession in the US and, and have many reasons to be maybe cautious in the uh, second half of this year. Uh, so does that stand in contrast to the size and scope of the fundraisings we're seeing here? What's going on? Yes, no, so all of that said, it's still a very difficult fundraising environment if you look compare now to five years ago. Um, so while there may be some interesting opportunities to put money to work, you are still seeing overwhelmingly most of the money coming into the industry going to the very big name funds that have already been around for a very long time. And so that spells competition for every dollar that you need to raise. Um, add to the fact that in many pensions, endowments, foundations, they may be over already overexposed to private equity and so may not have as much capital to deploy into the market. And there's obviously concerns with rates and the environment in general. So definitely still challenging compared to, say, a decade ago.